I guess, a shutout. I mean, how, how does that feel from the defensive perspective? Uh, it feels good, man. I mean, we ain't had one of those in a minute. I mean, it, it feels good just for our first game coming back. It, it feels pretty good. But, I mean, we left a lot of stuff on the field, too. We weren't perfect. So, I mean, we still got a lot to prove in. But, I mean, it, it was great for us. I feel like it was good as well. Um, I feel like everything we've we've worked for is paying off now. And we gotta we gotta get better at some things, but we had a good a good game tonight. Yeah, I guess for, for both I mean, Nico, you can take it for this is your first start, you got to be a captain. What what, what did that mean to you? Uh it, it meant a lot to me today, uh, especially coming back to Little Rock, um, getting to put on the shelf for the for the fans. And it just felt good to be a captain and be a starter. And for both guys, Nigga, you take first you want, you know, 70 and nothing. It's hard to do much better than that. A lot of points and then about eight points for the other guys. And I know this was a team you're expected to, to beat soundly, and you beat them even worse than probably the prognosticators thought. It's how good was it to open with a game like this when you're coming off a tough season? You obviously got a big game next week. Uh, I think it just builds us a lot of confidence to go on into next week. Um, it just felt good to go out there and play against another team today. Yeah, kind of basically what he said, man. It was a it was a great starter for us, man. Just coming back and playing against uh, somebody else that's not our team, I man. It, it felt good. So I mean, it was it's gonna be big for us. We can use this momentum to propel us throughout the, the rest of the season. But I mean, it was great. And Travis, I think he was upstairs last year. Yeah, and mm -hmm. he was downstairs tonight. Well, what impact did that have? I just think I mean, it looked like it must have worked pretty well. What did you guys think of having Travis on the sidelines there with you? I think I think it was good. I mean, he bring a lot of energy, so I mean, he can't give give that energy from upstairs through the headset to us. So him on the field just give us the extra energy and just telling us a hey, lock in, focus. We have four quarters. I mean, not just one or two. So I mean, it was great having him on the sideline with us. I agree with what EG said as well. Yeah. <laughs> For either of you, uh, I guess one of the UAPB, you know, wide receivers, you know, made the comment earlier in the week. Did yeah. you get a sense that the secondary guys, you know, maybe had a little extra chip on their shoulder coming in today's game? Oh, yeah, oh, yeah for Definitely. sure. For sure. I mean, we've seen it. I mean, we uh, we talked about it in meetings. I mean, I mean, last year we had ups and downs, so I feel like they were looking more so at that and not really just prepared on what we got this year, I feel. So, I mean, they definitely put had a, they had a chip on their shoulder and they really wanted to come out and show them that – we got speed. Did either y'all did either of y'all happen to see uh Taylor's touchdown run there before half? What yeah. were y'all's thoughts on that? It, it was crazy. 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 I'm glad I'm glad he played for the hogs. Man. I guess Sam was particularly proud that you know the first, second, and third string defense were able to preserve the shutout. I guess what do you just kind of think of all of the entire units working together to get the shutout? I mean, I think it was I think it was big. I mean, I think it's a real confident booster for the young guys. I mean, just to get that experience of playing and just being a part of the shit. I mean, not just seeing the ones do it or even the twos do it, just for the young guys to get that experience also. I mean, I feel like it was big. There's never a perfect game, and you even said there are things to clean up. What, yep. what is it you, that you, sticks out to you? Just for clean up wise, I mean, just little little things. I mean, the stuff that we been doing since day one, just being in our, our hands and eyes and our gaps. I mean, just transitioning better. It was it was a lot of things that we could fix up on. I say the same thing just because um it's a lot of the little techniques that we got to clean up in order to be the, the best defensive line we could be. And I feel like we're gonna flush this next week and and get on rolling. Speaking of next week, thoughts on taking this on the road, Stillwater, Oklahoma national television uh to me it's just another football game i think i think the defense is ready and the offense is ready this is a confidence booster i think we just gonna go out there and, and play how we know how to play football yeah i'm gonna piggyback on what he said because the same thing i mean just gonna take it as another football game uh it's a tough opponent so we're gonna go in and study studying well uh focus on us focus on the little details that we need to get better at i mean and go in and play our best game two-parter two if that's okay you guys, I, if I understood Sam right, you get tomorrow off, do something Saturday, mm -hmm. then get Sunday off. I mean, how nice is that? Especially going to a tough road game, you get to relax a little bit and get a little bit 
up time off by playing early like this. I think it's good, man, because just coming out of fall camp, I mean, he got days upon days just stacked up, uh, up on us. I mean, so I feel it's going to be big just to have a, a full day off just to relax. I mean, even watch some games. I mean, it's going it's to be big. I said the same thing. He said it, it gives the older guys some rest. You feel me? Um, we've been going hard for for a long time, so it's gonna be good to get give our body some rest and just sit back and just relax. You know, old guy like Eric, he needs that rest. <laughs> yeah. Like I did. Um, and then I know you guys obviously you're doing your thing on defense, but you know the running game last year, even in, in against Western Carolina FCS team, it struggled. And that kind of turned out to be a red flag. How good was it to see if you got to observe in the first half? Um, how good that running game was early on and really kind of setting the tone. I mean, we play against it every day at practice. I mean, so we we believe in those guys. We see what they can do every day. So, I mean, just for them to showcase it, showcase it to the world that we are able to run the ball now and we can do it efficiently, I mean, it's big. It's be definitely a comfort booster for both of us, defense and offense. Yeah. I'm going to say the same thing he said. <laughs> <laughs> uh, I feel like it just – it helped them and it helped us as well. Um, running the ball good is gonna open up the pass game, so it's gonna be we're gonna we're gonna have a good team this year all around. Yeah, great job. Thank y'all. I think some more.